Why are you so tense, god damn it? Because I don't know what I'm doing! Calm <laughs> down. Okay, so tonight we have Labatt Blue Light imported from Canada. And I'm up in upstate New York. So as you can see, this beer actually has some French writing in it. Because about three hours north of here is Montreal. Canada and the province of Quebec. Pretty much uh, in Montreal, when you go up there, they speak French and they can speak English, but they want to speak French first. And for years and years, and Canadian people, correct me if I'm wrong, they wanted to separate, you know, the province as a whole, form their own country one day. But I don't think it would ever happen. At least, you know, maybe not in my lifetime. So, we have Labatt's Blue, and I don't know how long of a review this is going to be. It's very hard to review these type beers. The macro lagers, you know, uh, American style, like Budweiser, Bud Light, Coors, Coors Light, you know, Bush. You know, use your head. You know, those type beers. It's very, very difficult. I think that you have to really... Be very, 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 very beyond skilled to differentiate between those beers. I mean, I think it's much easier to taste different types of varieties of craft beers than if you did blind taste tests. Say you lined up a Coors Light, a Bud Light, a Labatt Blue, you know, Keystone Light, whatever. Whatever those are. Line them up, do a blind taste test and try to decide which is which. I think it's very, very hard to do that because they all taste the same. It's, you know, they're all the same, eat it. So let's pop the top. We'll see how quick we can make this. Let's do a Philly Cuts pour into a Miller Lite Pilsner glass. And as you can see, I mean, this is clear right off the, right off the get. Clear, 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 highly carbonated. And I don't think there's going to be any gas or any doubt. That this is probably going to taste like corn. And it's going to be sweet. And it is beyond highly carbonated. I mean, look at this. Aggressive, aggressively carbonated. Bright white, fizzy head. You probably hear it. Is retaining about a one finger head. Let me get a smell. I mean, it just, it smells like a, uh, I wouldn't say it was a Pilsner. It just smells like an American macro lager beer, all right? You could not tell me, I don't care who you are. I don't care, you can't be that skilled to tell me that, uh, when you smell this, that this is any different than a Budweiser or, say, a Coors, or Coors Light or whatever, you know? Not much different. I think this is about 4% ABV. Let's take a sip, all right? I mean, there's nothing really there, you know? It's uh, got kind of a slight uh, corn taste. It's, it's a little sweet. It's like if seltzer came in a corn flavor, all right? If seltzer came in a corn flavor, this would be it. This is, this is it right here. It's corn flavored seltzer. That's pretty much what uh, it is. Um, as you can see, it's definitely staying aggressively carbonated. I don't make this stuff up. I mean, what can you give this? I mean, it, it, I really would just have to look at this purely as a lawnmower contextual beer. And if and if that's the circumstance that you're in, then yeah, I mean, this this will work on an 80 degree summer day after mowing the lawn or doing some yard work. There's a little bit of lacing on here on the one side of the glass where I'm drinking it down. There's nothing that really differenti differentiates this from, you know, Budweiser or whatever. So, I mean, you got to give, I, I'm going to give this probably like a D plus. I mean, for what it is, I mean, it's something you can use to refresh yourself like water after doing yard work. It just doesn't have a character and it's plain and it's bland and it fades into the crowd and doesn't want to upset things, doesn't want to, you know, disturb the balance. All right, man, I've said enough. It's cheap. 
if that's what you're into. If not, don't waste your time. All right. Peace.